everyone, it's Samantha and this is going to be our grocery haul and meals of the week. If you want to jump straight to the meals, I'll put a jump down below this video. You can just click that and go right to the meals. Olivia is going down for a nap right now and she might make noise. Her bedroom is like right up there. So I do apologize in my videos. I do talk kind of softly. It's usually because she's either napping or going down for a nap. This week I did go over a little bit. I tried to get not too much packaged stuff, but I still ended up getting quite a bit. I'll walk you through the fresh stuff first. I got some plums. Olivia loves prunes, so I thought we would give these a try. Um, she's really into feeding herself now, so I got a lot of stuff to make meals for um, her and I at lunch. And for dinner, I planned meals that she can eat as well. Um, so I'll show you that after I go through this. If you guys are interested in me doing like baby led weaning idea videos, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. I am starting to do more baby led weaning because she loves feeding herself. So anyway, let's go ahead and get back to this. I got some of these jazz apples, strawberries, an onion, some avocados, asparagus, the 50-50 spring mix for, sal um, for sandwiches, tomatoes for sandwiches, some yellow squash, mushroom, zucchini, lots of broccoli this week. Um, bananas, baby carrots, and then the canned stuff. I got four cans of the green beans and then two cans of sweet peas. Uh, back there I've got some chips and some olive oil. And then up here I've got some sliced almonds for a casserole recipe I'm trying out this week. Some more parsley. We go through lots of parsley. I love it. And two of these prunes and oatmeal. She loves the prunes from Babies R Us. We still have to go and she's about out. So I've been giving her lots of prunes to go with this new baby led weaning. Some pumpkin seeds. It's football season so I thought that'd be fun for us to snack on watching football. For sandwich meats I got some buffalo chicken breast, some roast beef, and some rotisserie style chicken. Then these were on sale. They're just candy apples. They both have chocolate chips and nuts on them. They just looked really good. So those, and this is all like impulse stuff, I got us a cookies and cream. We'll probably just split that as a special treat tonight. And then I saw these. I've never seen these before. I just decided to get them. Fiber One Protein, but they're cookies and cream. And you guys know I love my Oreos. Another thing of Halloween Oreos. Uh, a thing of Milano's for Johnny. Some chocolate chip chewy granola bars for his lunches. I'm going to get more at Target. I think they're cheaper at Target still. Some french fried onions for casserole. Bread and eggs. Olivia has been loving eggs. So we do eggs most mornings now. And then for meats, I got a whole chicken. I'm going to use that for a couple of recipes. And then this is a pork butt roast. That's going to be at least two meals for us. And then some salmon. She's going to try salmon this week. I'm really excited about that. Like I said, I went over this week. One 34, 38. I try to stick around 125, but I went way over. Um, and then here's our meals for this week. We have a steak left in the freezer, so we're going to do steak, asparagus, and mushrooms. We're going to roast that whole chicken with some zucchini and carrots. And then with the leftover chicken, I'm going to make this rotisserie chicken casserole. It's a thing I found on Pinterest, and I'm changing a couple of things already. I'm going to be adding green peppers because I have some green peppers left uh, instead of celery. And I'm also going to be using the French fried onions over the top instead of, I think it's like crushed up um, cornflakes or something for the topping. So I'm going to be changing those two things around. And I'll link to that recipe. And then I'm just going to do steamed broccoli or roasted broccoli with that. We'll have leftover casserole most likely. And then we'll have salmon, brown rice with broccoli and carrots. And then in the crock pot one day I'm going to do pulled pork. We'll have green beans with that and probably some sort of steamed veggie. I might steam some carrots to go along with that. And then we're going to have date night. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our meals now. Dinner tonight, I roasted a whole chicken and I did it the same way I always do. I just baked it at 350 with some seasoned salt, a lot of cracked black pepper, and a lot of parsley over the top and just cooked it until it was done. And this is the first week I'm going to try to have dinners ready when Olivia is still awake so she can eat this as her third meal of the day. Um, and so we're going to do some more baby led weaning. She's been really liking it. So she has just what we're having. I'm going to break this up into small bite sized pieces for her and she can just gum at them since she doesn't have any teeth. So I just roasted some zucchini and carrots um, with some pepper, 
garlic, um, what else, onion powder, and um, parsley, and olive oil. And so no salt on her stuff, and the chicken was from the middle, so it didn't get any of the seasoned salt on it. So we're gonna go ahead and eat. Tonight we are having steak and asparagus on the grill. I also made some green beans. So this is a porterhouse. It's just one we got the other day. It's been in the freezer. And all I did was stick Italian dressing on it a few minutes before we grilled it. And we grilled it. And then the asparagus, same way we always do it. Um, butter, garlic, onion powder, salt, pepper. Um, and then just plain old green beans. Olivia is not eating with us tonight because we were going to grill. It would take too long. She had to go to bed. Dinner tonight, I made that rotisserie chicken casserole, and I totally didn't follow the recipe. I used leftover chicken. I diced up some onions and green peppers, and I added a little bit of seasoning in here. I added some cumin and some chili powder, and I made Olivia a small one. I just didn't use the cream of soup. I had it in there, and then I blended it with a tiny bit of water in the baby bullet. So this is the first time I've used it. I used it twice today and so far so good. So it might be a little thick. I might have to add some other puree to it to thin it out. I decided to go ahead and blend hers up because of the rice. I wasn't sure about the texture of it. It was pretty dry. So I thought that'd be a nicer texture for her. I still left lots of chunkies in there. So it's kind of chunky still. For dinner tonight, we are having pulled pork with steamed broccoli and carrots and also leftover um, chicken casserole from last night. And we'll probably have this for lunch or maybe dinner tomorrow night. We've got a lot of it left. So Johnny has his on buns. I'm having mine plain. And Olivia is going to have some plain without any barbecue sauce. She also has some leftover squash and zucchini from lunch. And I just steamed her vegetables like 10 minutes longer than ours, so they're super duper mushy. And I might chop them up a little bit. We'll see how easily she can just bite those. Um, and then for her dessert, she has some um, organic prunes. For the pulled pork, it's just a big pork roast. I threw in the crock pot with some water. Then I shredded it up and put barbecue sauce over it and stuck it in the oven for a little bit. A new restaurant opened up on our side of town, so we went and got pancheros. I Never heard of this until we moved here. So pancheros, we both got steak burritos, right? Steak burritos with veggies. And then I also got a Starbucks. Tonight for dinner, we are having salmon with asparagus and carrots. And Olivia is already in bed, it's pretty late. Um, so she's going to be having some of this tomorrow. And I did it this way because she has not had salmon before. And I want her to have it during the day and not right before she's going to bed. Um, just in case she has some sort of allergic problem with it. So the salmon has pepper and parsley on it and I will just take off a piece of hers before I add salt to mine. And then this has garlic powder, onion powder, olive oil, pepper, and parsley and roasted those in the oven. Dinner tonight is a different version of something I made either last week or the week before. It's a version of spicy shrimp linguine. This one is spicy broccoli rotini. It's just an olive oil based sauce that has minced garlic and minced jalapeno mixed in so it gets spicy. I also add in some salt and pepper and that's kind of the base of the sauce and then you just put in whatever you want. Usually we just do diced tomatoes and shrimp when it's spicy shrimp linguine but last week or the week before I did tons of veggies and this week I did broccoli and shredded carrots. I was gonna do zucchini, but the zucchini I had went bad and there's also diced tomatoes in here. Um, and then I have yellow squash in the back there. I just slice it really thin and saute it with olive oil, salt and pepper until it gets nice and browned on the edges and super soft and I just love it like that. I have been really wanting that so I went ahead and made that for me. And I made enough that Johnny can have some for lunch tomorrow. So Olivia's not eating with us tonight. 